Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at Unit 1, Lesson 9, Formula for the Area of a Triangle. The objective says I can use the area formula to find the area of the any triangle. Show how the area formula can be used to find the area of this triangle. Before I just splatter a formula on the screen and then a plug in the numbers, I want to make sure we understand how we gleaned that formula. So we know that we can take any triangle, make a copy of it, so in this case, we copy this triangle, rotate it around and place it right here, and now I have a parallelogram. And I know how to find the area of a parallelogram because previously I would have cut off this triangular piece, decomposing the shape and rearranging it by placing that triangle over here instead, and I would have formed a rectangle. And inside of this rectangle, I have a base of 5 units and a height of 6 units. So without counting, I know that there would be 30 squares of the same shape and size inside of that region. Well, now we're going to take the idea behind a triangle and its relationship to, the, to a parallelogram and help us glean a formula for finding the area of any triangle. So I know that I can take two identical triangles and pair them together to make a parallelogram. So then, since I know how to find the area of a parallelogram, I can consider just one of those triangles. One of those triangles would have to have half the area of a parallelogram. So if the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram is base times height, then the formula for finding the area of just half of that parallelogram would be half of base times height. So the formula for finding the area of any triangle would be half of that base times height calculation. So I have a base of 5 and a height of 6. I can plug that into my formula. So my base is 5, my height is 6. So I have area equals 1 half times 5 times 6. And with multiplication, we can multiply in any order without it changing the product. So I could multiply 5 times 6 first, which is 30, and then find half of that. So the area of this blue triangle right here would be 15 square units because it would be half the area of this parallelogram or the rectangle that could be created from decomposing and rearranging with two identical triangles. I can use the area formula to find the area of any triangle. So from now on, anytime you have a triangle, you can use this formula to find the area of that triangle without having to make a copy of the triangle and create a parallelogram or without having to decompose and rearrange in any way. Thanks for watching.